This is a fun telemetry strip that I get called about every single year. It doesn't matter if it's an intern or resident. I've had attending physicians call me about this. I, in residency, made this mistake too. Really? That is shocking news. Until I saw it and learned, and I figured I'd share it with y'all so you can learn from mine and many other mistakes because it happens all the time. Take a look at this strip from telemetry and tell me what you think the diagnosis is. Now, right off the bat, you're probably thinking two things. This is VT, and two, he's probably making a video because it looks like VT, so it probably isn't. And if you thought that, then you're right. All you gotta do is look at that bottom lead. You cannot be in VT in 11 out of 12 leads. This is actually sinus rhythm and artifact. So what you can see with the asterisk in lead V1 is a clear narrow complex QRS. And if you go up and down into other leads, during that same beat, you can find other narrow QRS complexes hidden within all of this artifact. So maybe the patient was moving their chest or something abnormal was going on with the telemetry and it was moving, but you cannot be in VT in 11 out of 12 leads. It has to be in every single lead because each one of these leads is the same point in time. Each QRS complex is the same point in time. So if you can see these narrow QRS complexes marching out, probably sinus rhythm. The more you know. <laughs> 